Good morning. It's the next morning, obviously. We're still on the same shirt. Um, need to get a few things done for Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays because I get to cook. Every holiday is my favorite holiday, though. I've realized that. But right now, I am working on a brine solution for the turkey. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I'm going to use some vegetable stock. Uh, vegetable broth. I can't make stock. Stock's from bones. I'm going to rock out with some... Let's see... Some parsley, a little bit of thyme, dash of oregano, there's gonna be some basil in it, of course, salt, uh, some paprika, just a little bit for a smoky flavor, a dash of rosemary, allspice and ginger because I love AB, Alton Brown, if you don't know who it is. Um, there's garlic already in the pan, and some black pepper. That's gonna be the brine. Uh, I'm gonna get that done now, probably get it brining, I would say, Hopefully before we leave today, if not when we get back home after lunch, uh, the bird will start to brine. And I'll give it, let's see, it'll give it one, two days to brine. So it should be good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be, be a lot of cooking videos in the next few days. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click that thumbs up button down below if you love to cook. And uh, we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Hopefully to a different shirt. <laughs> Just left Walmart, going to Whole Foods and finished getting what we didn't get yesterday. Also trying to find that Daddy. mug. The what? The mug. Oh, yeah. eBay stuff. Oh, wait till you gotta find another post office because our post office has lost their mind. <laughs> they charge triple to ship the exact same thing. The post office, uh, a little bit further south of us, charged to ship. Chocolate bars. I mean, I mean, chocolate bars. What made good? No. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Coloring. I'm coloring. Here's well. a car wash. Yeah. It's a gloopy day too. Very. You know that? Yep. We actually get to watch them make it. We should get this for lovely. Mama? Right? What, Mommy? I was just talking and telling Daddy there's happy tummy soothing ginger and mint tea. It's decaf. For me? Oh, happy tummy? Yeah. Yeah. Just the sprouts? What yeah. will we get the sprouts? Mommy. What is it? What will we get the sprouts? Candy canes. Oh, pumpkin pie toaster pastries. Pumpkin pie toaster and pastries. And we got chocolate Hold on. trees. And we got chocolate trees. Peanut Look butter for chocolate a cheese. Office. Oh, yeah. You got a hundred post office. Here are these. I'm going to try one. How many things do I have to eat? I want to Yum. Watch. They're new. Sprouts always has new stuff, but never anything that Yay. we could actually shop for. Yay. Like, we could never do our entire shopping trip at Sprouts. Could we? Yay. No. We could go to Whole Foods and get pretty much everything. Maybe a couple fruits and veggies that we don't, uh, or that we that they don't have. That uh, our other store has, but Whole Foods pretty much has everything that we, we yeah. buy on a regular. Yay. Try but, what, baby? Just try the pumpkin pie thing. Is that what? See, there's a Ferrari again? right there. We just passed a Ferrari dealership. She wouldn't let me stop. I told her we could probably trade in the house and get half of one. Um, yeah. But now we're driving to the post office, so we're gonna drive Bye. on the road again. I am getting ready to make my cornbread for our cornbread stuffing or cornbread dressing that Greg is going to make on Thanksgiving. Yum! Dry ingredients so far I have, I'm doing a double batch, so you have to double the recipe. So I have two cups of cornmeal, and then it's gonna be two cups of flour, What, baby? Two cups of flour. Okay, and then I added the sugar. 
Um, it calls for a third cup per batch. So instead of doing, you know, two, I did just over a third um, because I don't want it to be super sweet. Uh, so next would be the salt and the baking powder. And a few grinds of salt. And then I'm going to add seven teaspoons of baking powder. Again, it's for a double batch. Or you could have done, you know, a tablespoon, I think, teaspoon equals a tablespoon. So you could have done, you know, two tablespoons and a teaspoon. Um, next, we're going to add, we're going to whisk this, of course, to get all of the dry ingredients mixed in very well. And then after that, I'm going to start adding the liquid ingredients, which... For this cornbread, will be water, um, coconut oil, and one egg. Okay, so I'm melting the coconut oil. Of course, coconut oil comes in the solid state, and we just melt it. Um, I said one egg. I meant two eggs because, I'm, of course, I'm making a double batch. So then it would get two eggs instead of one. So then once the coconut oil's done, I will then scrape it into here and add two cups of water and whisk it. Okay, after all the ingredients are in the bowl, just whisk it until you get a nice consistency. Um, now, when I go to bake this, I'm gonna bake it in two glass dishes, uh, two big glass dishes, because we don't want it, let's see, we don't want it super thick, we want it probably about that thin, because again, don't forget, we are wanting to make it for the dressing um, so you want to have thin so you have that crispiness um, when it bakes and it doesn't take that long to dry out for the dressing because of course when you go to make the dressing it's going to suck up all that liquid along with the bread that my husband is going to toast for the dressing um, so I'm just going to slather these down a little bit with some coconut oil and know if anybody's wondering the coconut oil does not leave a coconut taste um, it's really good really healthy for you um, and it doesn't taste like coconuts uh, so once I do that then I'm gonna take this and divide it between the two okay so as you can see I've divided it up and now I'm just spreading it out don't worry it will rise because we did put the baking powder in there um, Make sure you set your oven, preheat your oven to 400. And then once the oven's preheated, you just stick it in and bake it for about 20, 25 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Um, yeah. Well, this might take a little bit less time because as you can see, you can see it. It's not super thick, not like a normal cornbread that you would, you know, make a thick cornbread. In a smaller container again this is for the dressing that my husband's going to make so you would want it thinner so it gets that nice crispiness for when it sucks up all the liquid uh, while the, the dressing or stuffing whatever you guys call it let me know in the comments what you call it dressing stuffing um, but yeah and then once it's done I'll let it cool and Put it on some wire racks so it'll cool you know for the next 24 hours um, so then on Thanksgiving it'll be nice and crusty and stale and just delicious so just a couple tips uh, for um, like baking or just making anything as I showed you in making the cornbread recipe which uh, I will put the the um, recipe down in the comments um, if anybody's interested just comment and let me know if I forget but a good rule of thumb I found when I was baking cupcakes is to always measure your bowls before 
the batter or whatever you're baking or cooking goes into the bowl so you know how much to tear off when you go to divide it. Um, in this case, dividing the cornbread in between, you know, into the two pans. Uh, that way it'll be so much easier on you. You don't have to sit there and guess and you don't have to go from pan to pan, pan to pan, you know, adding in the cornbread mixture or the cake batter or whatever it is that you cook or bake. Put the cornbread in the oven. Of course, it's preheated to 400 degrees. Uh, about 20-25 minutes, uh, although this might take a little bit less time because it's not as thick as a normal cornbread. So I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes and then check it to see if the toothpick or the knife comes out clean or if it's nice and set up like I like for the stuffing um, and then go from there. So the cornbread's still cooking. We have, I set the timer for 15 minutes. We have about three and a half minutes left before I check it to see if it's uh, how I want it. Nice and crusty. Um, not sure if Greg showed earlier, but he brined the turkey. Let's see, can you see it? Yep, there's the turkey. Oh yes, she's in there. Yummy, yummy. So she's gonna, or the turkey is going to brine until Thanksgiving. Um, we always brine the turkey every year. Uh, it always gives for a juicier turkey. So I'm not sure if you brine, if you dry rub, or how you even cook your turkey. Just leave it in the comments below of how you cook your turkey and if you brine. If you don't brine, if you dry rub, if you don't dry rub, let me know. Okay, I got about 45 seconds left. I'm gonna go ahead and just check the cornbread because I smell it, it smells good. But that doesn't always mean that it's done. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick the toothpick in here. It's done, however, it's not as crispy like I'd like. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move them up just so the bottoms don't burn but yet it still gets done a little bit. So the timer went off after an additional five minutes, making it 20 minutes, and the cornbread is done. I'm not sure if you can see. The camera's not really showing the nice brown. It's kind of whiting it out. But if you can see those nice, I'm gonna get my finger in there without burning myself. The nice brown crispy edge. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there. And then on this one, the same thing, the nice brown crispy edge. That's what you're looking for. See, look at that. Mm, doesn't that look just delicious? And then I'm just gonna leave them set here on the stove top until they completely cool. And then I will, I might remove them and put them on a plate. I'm not sure, I might just leave them here and let them cool overnight. Um, put a towel over top of them and then uh, in the morning I don't know if Greg wants to cut them and, or, and crumble them or how he wants to do it sometimes he'll cut them into cubes sometimes he'll just crumble it up it all depends on uh, how he wants to do it that year but yeah there's the cornbread so I did the cornbread cornbread recipe with you guys that's something I do a day or two uh, before Thanksgiving so the cornbread has enough time to get stale and hard for the stuffing or the dressing uh, Whatever you call it. Let me know in the comments what you call it now since I showed you my uh, Day before two days before Thanksgiving prep Show me something that you do a day or two days before Thanksgiving uh, just to make it run a little bit smoother on the day of Thanksgiving. Um, then I will tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, I will be making the pumpkin pie. I'm gonna have to make it, I'm making it vegan this year. I've made it vegan once before and it was very good. Um, but I am making it vegan again this year because our oldest daughter uh, can't have dairy. It makes her belly upset. So yeah, uh, this is a day or two days before. This year it's two days before cornbread. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be a day before pumpkin pie. So I'm showing you all of my beforehand prep. Show me something of yours. Can't wait to see it.